and welcome to Designs by V. I have a quick haul for you. And uh, without further ado, let's get into it. I went to the Dollar Tree today. And I went looking for those canisters. Let me show you the canisters. I went looking for these canisters, but they didn't have any more. So, I end up seeing something else. One second. And what this is, is the um, sunflower glass. Um, and I end up picking up nine of them. I picked up nine, so if one broke. And they did not have paper at you know, like wrapping paper at Dollar Tree. So this is what they do. They bathroom paper. That's what they wrap the stuff in. I told a lady, right? I said, listen, if like today, if one of them break the time I get home, like, can I just bring the broken back, the broken one? She was like, yes, you can. I was trying to find a broken one outside to give to her. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, I'm just playing. Maybe not. <laughs> My niece, Amelia, sitting right there. She just thinks like I am like so funny. So she's sitting there laughing. I'm going to have to beat her because I think she's laughing at me. <laughs> she's not laughing with me. She's laughing at me. So um, I have this a little bit now, but I never um, haul it. Um, this piece here. I paid three dollars for it. It's a cake pedestal. Actually, I think this might have been for a candle. But in my world, after I bought it, it's mine, and I'ma use it as I please. Okay? So call the cake dome people and tell them I'ma do as I please. And this was three dollars. I hope I find another one. Um, the next thing I purchased was now yesterday, right? Pick this up for me, little girl. Yesterday I went to I was going to the store, right? To look for I forget what I was gonna go look for. But then when I was going by, I saw Goodwill, right? And I got weak in the knees. Because <laughs> I told myself, girl, you have stuff you haven't even unpacked yet. Don't buy anything else. And first of all, myself, right? Myself said, don't do it. But then my other self said, girl... Just go look. You're not going to get nothing because you already spoke to, you know, yourself. And you said that you wasn't going to get nothing else because this moving was. Plus, you know, this is just a temporary spot. So, while I wasn't there, right, my other self said, girl, if you don't get it, somebody else going to get it. And I was like, no, I'm not going to do that because, you know, I said I'm not going to do that. But the other self won. <laughs> and I, I had someone with me that I don't know where they get their bad habit from. But I will call no name. I wouldn't call any name. No name, right? I ain't going to call no name. I'm not going to say their name starts with an A. I ain't going to say nothing. <laughs> um, this is from the Wilton, Wilton Company. And these are, you know, the silicone mold. And at first when I seen it, I picked it up and actually Amelia made me do it. <laughs> she was like, oh, we could make chocolate and we could do that. I'm telling I'm you. 
telling everybody the business. Amelia made me do it. I had all control, and she the one that made me do it. Bad company. A nine-year-old is taking advantage of me. So these are the little chocolate molds that she seen and wanted to get. But it also came, it also came with this. And these are the collapsible silicone mold from the Watts. Hold up, this is different. This one is from Crafton, and this one is from Walton. Well, I need to Google this one. Yeah, this one looks like it's for chocolate. Look at the design in it. Can you see that? No, you can't. It's too black. So this is a loaf pan. Then they had two of the round cake pan. Actually, damn, three. I didn't even know what I had because I didn't mean to buy it. Amelia made me do it. <laughs> so I have these four plus this one, and there were two. Mother price. Let's see the price. Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. I also picked up. I told you it's a very small haul. So look, she laughing already. I say, girl, I ain't getting nothing else because I told the kids and. I said, you know what? I ain't getting nothing else. Amelia made me do it. She has control over me. <laughs> There's this um, um, pancake pan, pancake makeup pan, and where you put the pancake, they put the um, the batter on this side and then you close it off and once this side done you put it on that side and you know what that was a dollar ninety nine a dollar ninety nine see everything I got yesterday was about her I I ain't shopping it's Amelia's fault the next piece I have is this here and you may ask V you're gone crazy? What is this contraption? It's a hat. <laughs> no. Um, I'm going to show you what it is. I'm going to put a camera on pause and then I'm going to show you. I am back. So this is not, you know, fall 2019 hat. <laughs> the, what this is, this is a display stand. I don't know where it was displayed before, but when I seen it, I'm like, ooh, I could do something with that. And a matter of fact, before I put the pieces on here, let me bring it in and show you. This is what it is. If you know what it's really used for in this real life, let me know. Um, that looked like it'd been in a store. But I seen it, it was $3, and I'm like, I could do something with that. So, I have these marble plates. I don't, I think I hauled these with you before. I purchased these from Ross, and I also have, I also have the round ones. Yeah, I also have the round ones to it. So, look at this. No, girl, this is going to break. Look at, it's not long enough, but that's the only one that I could have grabbed. And this one, I'm going to use it as a tray, um, three tier tier stand. Say that twice. So, I have longer plates that could fit the whole circumference of it. And 
I will bring you in after and show it to you. Just not now, okay? Be patient, not now. So, oh no, that's not all. I got something to show you. So, you remember I told you about a copper explosion, right? Like boom, burst, like pat, 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 4th of July. So, well, I did take the park rack. I did take it apart. And remember I told you that I was, I'm going to take it apart and, you know, give it a little love, short a little love. Because I was going to go to, um, I was going to go to the granite fabricator to get a piece of granite for the, um, pie rack. So, I went today and the uh, granite person advised me if it's not steel that the piece is made out of if it's wrought iron it might bend but if it's steel go ahead but i know i had a feeling that it could have been wrought iron but i didn't want to take the chance of it breaking so i have another idea for it and i'm going to show you because i took all the parts down and they're still on the side i uploaded a um I'm going to upload a video with a kitchen tour for you tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. And um, I judged the um, thing up a bit. But, yeah. So, the marble fabricator, when I went today, he ended up giving me, gifting me, this piece of marble. Right? He gave me two pieces. This one. And the other piece is downstairs in the garage. After I got home, I'm like, golly, I should have gotten a bigger piece. Because I could have, you know, just do the, just like another level to this. But you know what? I think I could go back anytime and get some more from him. Just a longer piece. So, yeah, like I said, I wanted to show you something that I had. And I had it for a while. And forgot that I had it. Part of the copper explosion. <laughs> yes. I purchased this back in, I think it was March. Yeah, me and my boyfriend was hanging out. And um, I ended up um, going to the store. And I seen this, even though I went to the store and I said, oh, babe, let's just go in. We ain't buying nothing. Girl. Girl, yeah. He can believe that if he want to. <laughs> After I saw this copper pot here, this um kettle, I'm like, I lied. I lied, I lied, I lied. So this is the electric copper kettle. Yes, and I don't know what you're saying, but V, don't you already have a kettle on the stove? Yeah, I do. I show you, but I never met a piece of copper I didn't like. <laughs> I really like this, and the cup, I have a reason for having the one on the stove. Not only aesthetics, but my children, and I'm going to show you that later on. My mom... She picks like different type of herbs and tea, what we call it bush. You know, like what y'all call like herbs and stuff. We just call it bush. Bush have a name. So, <laughs> so <clears throat> this one here, they like to boil the, you know, the herbs. Let me show it to you. I'm back. So. Let me get this out of the way before you see me spill. <laughs> so this is what I'm talking about. There's another bag somewhere here. Uh, where's the other bag? See all like these? These are herbs. Um, different type of herbs. This one is moringa leaves. This one is I don't know. 
And this one is lemongrass. One second. I'll be right back again. I'm back. Yeah. All these different herbs. Which is this one? I don't know. I can't see it. This here. My mom from the islands send the kids herbs. And since they were little kids, she would boil these different stuff and give it to them like tea, natural teas, no preservatives, no nothing. And she just picked the leaves, dry them, and send them to the kids. Well, you know, the kids, yeah, me too. But they drink them more than I do. So, and this here is like fresh bay leaves. And, well, the kids, they know, they look at the herbs because she, since they're little, she's been giving them this. So, the truth is, they know more about it than I do. And, let me see what's in here. Oh, see this right here? This is real cocoa. This is from the cocoa plant. Now, my country main export is nutmeg and cocoa. And I think I think it's still I've been living there a long time. So these are this is fresh cocoa, not the cocoa powder. This is the real deal. And no, it's not sweet, it's bitter. But we make, um, we call it cocoa tea. You may call it hot chocolate out of these. And I have quite, quite a few of them. Oh, let me show you what the cinnamon in the islands look like. I feel like a spice lady right now. I'm selling spice. Ooh. See this right here? This is nutmegs. And when you buy nutmeg in the store, is this open? Yeah. When you buy nutmeg in the store, you may only get, you may get nutmeg. Could you stop? You're going to get nutmeg that's already, that's, I don't know if you get them like this, but the, the nutmeg has a shell over it. It has a shell over it. And it also, before you get to the shell, it have this over it, a little part. And it also, it comes in case in another part. And, but this is called, um, they call it mace. And this is how it looked like a little web. And you could cook, put this in like your oatmeal and stuff. Um, I wish you could smell it. You want to smell it? <laughs> it smells so good. Yeah. Um, and you could put that like in your drinks, um, your ice creams and stuff. So that's that. And oh my world. I didn't even know some of the stuff was in there. Oh, they have tangerine ball here too. Um, this is right here. I'm giving you a spice lesson. This was not supposed to be this long. This here is another cocoa ball. Real cocoa. Now, it is rich. And I'm going to show you one day how I make this for the kids. And like I said, the reason why I have two different tea kettle is because the kids boil herbs in this pot it, the, the one on the stove and this one here is just for hot water for you know you just want some hot water some tea you know when you come over and another set of cocoa again cocoa stick is the same thing the cocoa ball the cocoa stick all of them is the same it's 100 percent real cocoa no ad adjective, no preservative, no, this is good. 
and this here is guava. Now how I end up doing food? This here is guava cheese. You boil the guava and you put like um, cinnamon and you know other stuff in there and sugar and then you put it to set and you make these. These are guava cheese and these here from tamarind. They call it tamarind here but in the islands they call it tambran and this is tambran ball. These are all snacks that they load the kids up with. It's not sweet. It's not like that type of sweets. But these are all um, locally made food. And actually that's the kind of snack that I grew up with. Not the candy. And that's my kids stuff. So this is it for now. I have like a whole bag of different stuff. And I'm going to show it to you because I have to get jaws to put the teas because um, I didn't realize they had that much. Uh, my my um, brother and my dad was here just a few, I think in April, and they brought them some more stuff. So I'm going to put them in bags and stuff. Oh, this is what I had to show you. This is the cinnamon. The cinnamon in the islands look different from the cinnamon that they sell you here. These, look at this. You want to smell it? You can smell it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is the cinnamon bark. And you see how different it is? It's like really huge, right? So this is island stuff that my mom spoil the kids with. That's why they think they're from the island, but they ain't really, they American. So this is it for now. This is V and don't I look sleepy? Cause I am. And thank you so much. I might upload this video. If I look at this video and I might upload this video. Bye everybody, love you. Give me a hug. You wanna do a little dance? Next time, next time. I'm kinda of tired now. I may fall on the floor. Bye bye. Kisses, hugs. Love you. Look at my eyes, they fall in there. Oh, I got my braces off today. <laughs> bye bye. Please. Comment, like, subscribe, and share. Hit the notification that when I upload videos, you'll be one of the first to be notified. Thank you.